guys welcome to my channel vinyl beauty or welcome back i'm debbie if you don't know me in today's video we're going to be doing a smoky eye with the dark matter palette from melt now many years ago i think it was 10 years ago they launched their dark matter stack and it was one of their most popular i never owned it so when the palette came out i just had to pick it up i've had it for quite some time which is the story of my life on my channel it takes me so long to to get around to using things but I'm just really inspired to use it because I've seen the exciting news that Melt posted on their Instagram page yesterday and I just thought I really want to do a look using something from Melt and just talk about that because it just really got me excited about makeup again and yeah I'll, I'm just a makeup fangirl when it comes to Melt. I love everything Melt does as you probably know so as I say we're going to create a smoky eye with this black and red kind of look I suppose we're going to use some of their cheap products as well but generally it's just going to be a bit of a chit chat while I do this makeup look so without further ado I'll sketch you in and we'll get started okay I thought you went a bit closer and for those of you that are not familiar with the palette this is it it's really nice packaging it's kind of spongy soft on the front if you know what I mean kind of like padded and I love the way the artwork is done. The shade names are printed on the back and there is like a sheet with the names on. I'm not gonna bother calling out the names. The names aren't on the inside of the palette so I'm just gonna point to, to what I'm using so I don't have to keep looking down and referring to the names. But we're gonna, as I say, be doing a bit of a smoky eye today. But before I get into doing that, I'm just going to do my cheeks. I never feel myself until my cheeks are done. So we're going to do that. So I've got one of my favourite blushes from Melt to use. This isn't new by any means. I've had this three or four years. But this time of year, I always want to rock this blush. I love it so much. It's Fire Fury and it's one of their blush light. It's not a shade for the faint hearted. It's quite a dark red and I have to use this quite sparingly. But it's just so beautiful and it's perfect for this sort of look. I want to keep it fairly controlled so I'm going in with a brush I use quite a lot for for blush which is this one from Certify that I got free with product hundreds of years ago well four or five years ago and I just love this one because it's got a completely flat top to it and it enables me to really be precise and I'm bringing it a bit higher than one might usually do for for blush kind of going to drape it into the eye look which is one of my favorite ways to use blush particularly if it's a dark color like this so the news from melt then so yesterday i saw that dana who's one of the owners had posted something saying that something was coming soon so i was like oh my god i thought so you know because they've got so many like products on sale recently and then they did the like the mystery bundles they seem to do those sort of things when they're trying to clear out products and they hadn't bought anything else since the electric palette just gonna get another brush just to blend this out a little bit so yeah so they hadn't or anything else since electric and they've got to have something in the works but I couldn't have been prepared for what it was because then later on in the evening on the main melt page they posted a black picture with kind of swirls in it and saying something coming soon and it was a collab with Disney and I lost my mind because I was like these are the Tim Burton swirls this has got to be Nightmare Before Christmas I was in the comments like seeing is it really but then Laura the other owner posted on her page and on the melt page a picture of herself all done up in the makeup and it's obviously Nightmare Before Christmas although they haven't actually confirmed that or said it yet or said anything about what's in the collection but I imagine it's a full iconic collection as you can see in my background I bought the Beetlejuice full collection it cost me an absolute arm and a leg I think it was something like $350 and then I paid £80 in um, charges once it got here you know the VAT and customs charges but I don't care <laughs> Melt has my favourite products of all time I love the brand so much I'm 100% going to be getting this whatever I do if I miss out on it I'm going to be incredibly sad <laughs> But then I'm like, well, what do I do about the ghost face collection? Because I really want that as well from Glam Light. So I'm kind of like, can I afford to get both? I'm still tossing it around in my, my mind what to do because I want them both so much. Right, we're going in with the Stargazer highlight from Melt. Now I wanted something just pale and champagne-y really. 
ones, although I can probably afford to get them both, I'm really considering like, you know, should I? I feel kind of guilty getting, getting both, but then I don't buy like crazy amounts of makeup like a lot of beauty gurus do. I mean, I definitely buy more makeup than the average person. I am a bit of a makeup addict, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm getting a lot more considered about my purchases. There's been so many beautiful indie releases this season. Things that I probably would have bought in the past, like the Gourmand Girls Haunted. I was very tempted to get that. The Sea Witch palette that's just come out from Sugar Drizzle looks amazing. You know, there's so many and I just keep seeing these things, but I'm glad that I've held out because I want them out more than anything else. So I think, you know, a lot of people are buying things for review purposes, but I just want it because I just, really want it and you guys must know from watching me how much I love that movie. I've talked about Nightmare Before Christmas so many times on my channel. In fact in my recent Get Ready movie I was just saying that Jack was my favourite Halloween character. He's so iconic so yeah I've just got to get it and I'm just so excited. But anyway on with the makeup look. So there's a cream black shadow in here and a matte black and they say this cream has no fallout whatsoever so i'm going to use that on my lid and then pat the black over the top but i think i want to get a bit of a transition going first so i have put the mac soft ochre paint pot down already just to save a bit of time and i think i'm just going to go into a fairly light transition just something like these two mixed together just to to start me off i'm going to put that quite high in my transition area and I thought I'd bust out my Beetlejuice brushes. I've never used them, I was keeping them pristine, but I thought, that's ridiculous, gotta use these things, so I'm gonna use those as well. So I'm gonna use the, the biggest brush, it's absolutely enormous, it's not the sort of size brush I normally use, but... <sighs> wow, these are very powdery, and I think they're gonna be pretty pigmented because that's the sort of formula it feels like. This feels like the old formula from Melt, like the formula for the mattes from the electric was a bit thinner. I got on okay with it and it was buildable and fine, but I think I do prefer the more powdery pigmented formula. That's probably a bit more talky and kick up -y, but it's more my preference. But I'm just taking that, as I say, just into my transition area. And because this is going to be a smoky eye look, whilst I've not got so much on the brush, I'm bringing it into my lower lash area as well. So will any of you be buying that, that collection or are you going to just be interested in palettes if there's a palette? Are you looking at getting the Glam Light Ghost Face collection? That red blush that's in there, oh my word, that looks so beautiful. I love red blush so much. So I think I probably will end up getting the PR box because there's a, a special PR box this time. They've really taken it there with the, the packaging for the PR box, but it is an extra 15 pounds just for that box. But as a collector, I just like to have like the best version of something. I'm just, I'm a bit crazy like that, but I keep things forever and collecting things means as much to me as using them. I'm just that kind of person. So next I'm going to go in with this shade, sort of a brownie burgundy red, it looks beautiful, my kind of shade, so I'm going to pack that in my crease and slightly above my crease. I'm going to take it slowly because, yeah, I thought it would be, it's a pretty pigmented shade and I want a kind of diffused wash of it to blend the smoky eye into. There's two ways you can do a smoky eye and I think this way works easier for me with my limited skill level because I'm not the best at smoky eyes, I will admit. You can either start with the darkest shade all over the lid, blend it upwards and then blend it out with another shade. But I think honestly it's easier this way to have got your crease shade down and your transition down and then have something to blend the black into. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I'm hoping this is going to be the easiest way to do it. But that's laying down super nicely. I love the tone of it. So I say, it's like not completely burgundy or red. It's got a bit of brown to it. And I think 
it's a super flattering shade and it's going on really easily and it's blending easily. I'm going to take some on the lower lash line as well. This is where it's going to get a little bit more smoky. I really want to use the whole of my eye bag area, of which there's plenty. I just didn't sleep last night and it was happy thoughts, but I was thinking about that collection and just makeup in general and about my channel and just lots of stuff. I couldn't turn off the thoughts last night and I think I had about two hours sleep, so I'm pretty tired. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys ever do that, you just cannot shut off your brain sometimes, it's annoying. I've just been thinking about how my channel is just like so different to a lot of people's channels really and whether I do have a place like I feel such an outsider because I mean I'm a micro channel I've been doing this for four years I'm really happy with where my channel is you know I don't really want to grow any more than than I am I love what I do just wonder if like I add value really because every channel now is offering codes that They've got links in their description boxes, all the things I, I'm not interested in doing. I'm just a makeup enthusiast at the end of the day. And whether I could do exactly what I do, it just post pictures on Instagram, I probably could, because I've no interest in monetizing this channel. I don't monetize my videos anymore. If you see any adverts, it's just because YouTube's added them. I, I stopped monetizing it a long time ago and I never actually claimed the money that I had monetized. I've talked about this several times but it's just not my motivation for for doing YouTube. I never wanted it to be a career or or anything like that. I don't want to put in that level of effort and I certainly don't want to make it into a makeup QVC where I'm like plugging a code for everything and no um, disrespect to anyone that's doing that because I know People have got different circumstances and they're doing things for a job. I'm just going to go back through the process with those two shades we started with just to bring it a bit higher and to really blur everything out and blend it. Yeah, well, I've no problem with the people that are, are doing that because their circumstances and the reason for having their channel is different to mine. What I do wonder, and I don't know if you guys think the same, is how valuable people's reviews are now when they've got affiliations to the brands and also just about every creator is friendly with everyone else and then they're doing collabs with brands and so they'll say well I'm biased because this is my friend or it's very difficult to get an unbiased review on anything and I'm thinking going forward I'm not even going to really review products but I'm just going to use them and just give you inspiration of, of what you might do with the things you've bought and not focus on, I mean, I've never been a review channel but I'm kind of going to hold off from actually giving my opinion on things because I don't know how valuable reviews on YouTube are. I think actually seeing the products in application is perhaps more valuable of a of a method than it is you know seeing somebody that's got a code that's affiliated and also my skill level is fairly low. I think I learned how to do makeup by watching other people on YouTube so I don't have like a massive skill level. I have a lot of ideas and creativity, but I don't really have the skills to pull it off. I think some people are so talented that they can make anything look incredible. So I'm hoping maybe just seeing someone normal like me using the products is helpful to you guys. And maybe just hanging out with me. You'll have to let me know, why do you actually watch me? <laughs> because sometimes I need that boost to know, why am I doing this? Because I, I do, as I say, have a lot of imposter syndrome and, and kind of doubts about you know, why do I have this channel and is there a point to it? And then other times I really love it and I just think it doesn't matter what anyone thinks I'm doing it because I love it. But, but yeah, I'm interested to know what do you actually get out of watching me? Just, you know, it'd be interesting to know that. Right, we're going to go in with that black shade now and we're going to pack that all over the lid. That's the more cream one. A pretty big brush here, which I think will be useful for that purpose. It might be a bit too fluffy, but we'll see how we go. It's almost as big as the pan, look at this. The pans are super tiny, this brush is covering the pan. They were tinier than I thought from looking at like promotional pictures of this palette. And because Melt don't send out any PR to anybody as far as I know, you don't get to see anything really until you've, you've got it because again, you don't see many reviews on products where PR isn't being given out because obviously creators have got to buy these things with their own money. 
and they're not getting a kickback from selling the product with a code so but I'm kind of a rebel so those are the brands that I want to buy from I want to buy the ones where I make up my own mind that's going on so easily and there's not a speck of fallout if you struggle with applying a black eyeshadow and maybe you do your base makeup first like I do this one could be for you there you go I'm going into review mode which I didn't want to do but honestly it's pretty impressive because it's it is quite difficult to find a black that doesn't have fallout that will blend nicely as well I am going to pack some of the black matte on the top to make it a bit more matte but that is pretty good already I'm going to run a bit of that cream shadow on my lower lash line using the smallest brush from that Beetlejuice set I'm just going to turn it on its tip and I'm just going to take that super close to my lower lash line and I'm going to wrap it all the way around the inner corner as I say I want this to be super smoky and where I couldn't get detailed enough in this corner because that brush was enormous I'm using this one that's a pretty spiky brush and it's digging into my eyes so I'm being very careful I feel like all I want to do at the moment is kind of smoky eyes I want to get away from doing too many intricate looks like I like different color placements but I want to do things that that you guys might be able to to recreate as well it's not a competition about how intricate and complicated you can make a look like because then nobody will get any use out of it because you're not going to be able to recreate it and I don't even know if I can do them that well either so I think again I want to make my content a bit more accessible as such I've been having lots of thoughts about YouTube lately right I'm gonna take the the black mat and we're gonna carefully pat that on I am going to use a singe brush for this. I love these brushes. These are just my go-to. I'm going to tap that black off and I'm going to pat it on. I just want to make everything super, super black. And then I'm going to turn that on its side or edge, should I say, using that black mat. Just going to blend that cream black out of it. I'm going all the way around the edges and I don't think that's looking too bad it's quite a forgiving black I think like you can build it up it's not not too powdery when I started and I saw how powdery the other shades were I was like this is going to be tricky but it's no it's not too bad I'm going to put black in my waterline probably should have done that before I want that kind of black hole kind of eye look going on. Right, back with the red and the brush we started with. And now I'm going to really try and get some smokes on this lower lash line and outer corner. I think this look would be perfect for Halloween if you didn't want to go for a bright colourful look. You know, you don't want your oranges, greens, purples, but you still want to be part of things you don't want a costume look or anything but you want something kind of smoky and appropriate for the season I think this could be perfect love the blend we've got going on here and really happy with how this is looking actually it's probably one of my better blends as I say I'm definitely not that skilled at smoky eyes so it's not a tutorial as such right I think I'm happy with that and I think I'm going to leave it as it is so I'm going to hop off camera I'm going to pour a pencil in my waterline just a black I think some mascara I'm going to apply a lip and I'll be back with you to show you the finished look okay guys this is the finished look really love how it turned out really wanted to practice my smoky eyes because I never thought I could get the blend very good on them and I think this is the best one I've done in a long long time and although I said I wasn't going to review the palette as such I think it's because they were such blendable shadows and that cream black is a game changer because it stops you getting fallout raining down your face. It's super, super opaque and black. I don't even think I needed to top it with the matte black actually. It sort of was that cream to powder kind of thing anyway. 
but yeah I just really love the tones of it and how it's turned out so it's the perfect one for as I say spooky season if you don't want to do anything that's super colourful and you don't want to do a character look or anything you just want to feel the vibes of the season I think and I had to finish it off with a vampy lip I know a lot of people would have done a nude lip with a statement eye like that but it's really not my style I love to do vampy eye looks with vampy lips it's just what I like so that's what I've done and I've gone in with one of the lip perfectionists from Mel love these this is in the shade for Mia that came out with the Amore Mariposas collection and then the lipstick is also from Mel. It's one of their bullet ones in blood wine. I think it's that perfect vampy blood red colour. It's just gorgeous, I think. So yeah, this was a lot of fun to film in the end. Just wanted to get a few thoughts out there in the open. As I say, no shade to any other creators. It's just kind of how I'm feeling about watching YouTube, consuming all of the makeup content and the constant kind of pushing of... of consumerism and codes and you know I'm a makeup shopaholic as it is so maybe I need to just tone back my watching of the sort of content that persuades me to buy so many things but I know I'm watching as much of that as anyone else and that's what drives people to do that but I just feel there's been such a, a shift just recently from creators just showing you makeup looks and being really excited about products to my code is this for this product oh and I'm wearing this product and do you want to know what my code is for that and it's just like grinding my gears a little bit I think if people just want to put their codes in their description box or just mention the code for the item that they're reviewing that's probably okay but you know we used to shade people like Manu Amy Way, Jacqueline Hill back in the day for sharing Morphe codes constantly but I feel like the indie community is now falling prey to exactly the same and yeah it's just something I just noticed for myself and I, I want to have an adult conversation about it down in the comments so what are your views on it do you not mind it do you do you think YouTube has changed over the years and did you like it better when it was more tutorial based and it was smaller creators like myself that were just hobbyists that were just sharing makeup looks do I have a place even in this community anymore am I not really part of the indie community that I think I'm a part of it's all interesting to me and I'd love to know your views so hope you've enjoyed this video hope you like the look and it might inspire you to create something similar with whatever you own you don't need to buy this palette or anything else I'm sure you've got these kind of tones they're quite normal kind of tones to have in a makeup collection particularly if you've got a lot of makeup so please don't ever watch my videos and feel you have to rush out and buy the latest thing to achieve a look search your stash and use what you have first and foremost these are very strange economic times where you know I'd hate to think that anybody gets in in debt and puts makeup above other things they should be buying just because they've seen me use a product I've always had a conscience like that and I just I just wanted to put that out there. But anyway, guys, a lot of rambling, a lot of thoughts today, getting a bit deep. But thank you so much for all your support on my channel. Thank you for watching this one. Hope you're having a lovely day or night, wherever you are. And hopefully catch you in this weekend's video, which will be my Halloween eyeshadow palette collection. I love... As I say, sharing my palette collection and just enthusiasm for makeup has always been there for me. I'm a massive collector. So if you want to see what I've got in my collection, there's a lot of Halloween because it's my favourite time of year. And as I say, stay tuned. That will be coming up either Saturday or Sunday. But that's all I've got in this one, as I say. So catch you at the weekend. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.